Hello friends, I'm Tim Wildsmith, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the updated third edition of the Life Application Study Bible from Tyndale. Okay, so I recently released a video about the NIV Study Bible and said that it had won this award from the, the Christian Book Award for the Best Bible of 2021. Well, the winner of that last year was the NLT Life Application Study Bible, the updated third edition of this Bible. This is a Bible that's been out since 1988 was when they released the first edition of it. Becca had this when she was in high school. Her sister actually gave it to her as a gift for one of her birthdays, and she used this all throughout high school and college. It's a great Bible. It's been updated a couple of times, and they had this major overhaul that they released a couple of years ago. And just recently, they released it in the NIV edition, and there's a KJV updated edition coming out later this year. So the Life Application Study Bible has been around for a long time. It's a really great Bible. It's really solid. It, it does exactly what it says it does. It helps you apply the Bible to your everyday life, which I really like. So um, we're going to go ahead and walk through this. I'm going to show you both of these. There's a bunch of different options. There's a bunch of different bindings, that sort of thing. But it's a really great Bible. And as I've always said, I think everybody needs a great study Bible in their life. And if you are someone who's trying to figure out how to apply the Bible to your life or you know someone who is, this is definitely a good option for it, particularly the NLT and the NIV because they're so accessible as far as translations to go. They're easy to read. Um, they're very, they make it comfortable for people who are new to the Bible to understand what's happening. And then it has all these study notes that help them apply it to their lives. So I really, really like this Bible. I'm impressed with what it looks like. So I'm excited to show it to you. Okay, starting on the outside, really great two-piece boxes. Lots of information on each one. Essentially the same thing. The, the green is the NLT. The red is the NIV. You note that they say down here red letter. They do make red letter editions of this Bible as well as black letter editions of this Bible, and they make it a ton of different bindings. Two of those binding options are on the left. The NIV one here is a leather-like, so it's kind of a shinier, sleeker, faux leather material, but it looks, this one looks really great. It feels really great when you open it up. It's, it's very sharp. You see down here it says the ISBN numbers on the back. And then over here, this is a genuine leather edition. This one really feels to step the game up. It's got a nice texture on the grain there of the leather. They don't put that, they put the ISBN numbers on the inside on this one. It feels a little bit nicer. And honestly, the genuine leather editions are not that much more than the leather-like Bible. So these are really sharp. I think they make hardcover edition. I mean, there's a bunch of different Bibles. So I'm gonna set the NIV edition aside for a second, and we're gonna focus during the review on the NLT edition. Now, what you should know, as I just set it aside, I'm gonna bring it back. Other than the fact that this is an NIV Bible and this is an NLT Bible, so the translation is different. Obviously, the textual footnotes and the cross-references are different. They all match with the translation. All of the other features of this Bible, the study notes and all of those sorts of things, they're identical. This is the third edition, the updated Life Application Study Bible material with different translations of the Bible. I'm assuming that it's going to be the same for the King James Bible when that gets released later this year. So the size of the Bible is six and a half inches wide, nine and a quarter inches tall, this one's about two inches thick with the cover. There you see the spine, really clean, Tyndale Live Application Study Bible, NLT. This one comes with a single ribbon, little skinny guy. It's got some art gilding on the pages. It's got a sewn binding. It's going to hold up well over time. I mean, it looks, it looks really great. Now, opening this up, get on the inside, you get some presentation page. So the green color is the theme color for the NLT version. It's red with the NIV version. Get in here, you get a table of contents, you get a welcome, a couple lists of books of the Bible, a note to the readers. This is your intro to the New Living Translation. You get information about the translation team, and then followed by a page about the contributors to this Bible. I know people are interested in this, so I'll just kind of scan that slowly. You can pause if you want to take a closer look. Great team of people. They went back to the drawing board on this Bible. There's a couple good videos out there where they talk about how they just wanted to make sure everything felt new and fresh. So there's really not anything in this Bible that hasn't been revisited and updated since the last update. In fact, they said that probably 30 to 40 percent of the material is completely new, but it's a, a full overhaul. So this is an article up front about 
uh, why the Life Application Study Bible is unique. And really what they're talking in here is about their theme of this Bible is intended to help you apply God's Word to your life. So yes, it has study material, contextual stuff, historical information about the Bible, but there's a lot of notes in here that are about applying the Bible to your life. That's the focus of this one. And this is an article about what is application. It talks about that. How is this relevant to you? What does it look like to, to read the Bible and respond with your life? I think that's really great. Honestly, I think this fits the NLT translation as a modern translation that's really easy to read. That idea of applying it to your life really fits with the translation. Um, features of the Life Application Bible. So there's over 10,000 life application notes. I'm going to show you those when we get inside the Bible. There are book introductions for every single book of the Bible, as well as uh, outlines and things like that. You get these articles like the Harmony of the Gospels and things like that. You get a hundred different uh, personality profiles or character profiles of people in the Bible. You have maps, you have charts, you have diagrams that are all throughout the Bible. Cross references, obviously, I like that they have them on the inner gutter of this Bible. Um, definitely, you get the textual notes that are common with the translation, different resources like that. There's an index in the back that's a master index of all of the notes in the Bible, all of the charts in the Bible, all of the maps in the Bible, all that stuff is in there. And then at the back, you do get the NLT dictionary concordance. So I'll show you all that. But getting in here, we open it up. So this is what one of the introductions look like. You see Genesis there. So you get the statistics, information, the blueprint, the, the themes, key places, and then you're into the text. So as you can see, this opens pretty clean. So this is the, the overall vibe here is it's a single column text, textual notes at the bottom, cross references in the inner gutter, and then you have your, your notes down here on the bottom. So you're going to be getting, here's one of your character profiles right here. We're talking about Adam, right? Um, the, the two column notes down here. As far as the text goes, the standard edition is eight and a half point font, eight and a half point font. And I think that this down here is about a seven point font for the study notes. There is a large print, several large print editions of each of these Bibles. That gives you almost an 11 point font. I think it's 10.75. And then they have a personal size, which is just over like 7.3 is what I think their website said as far as the font size goes for there. So several different options for this, but I really love the look of this. It's easy to read. I'm going to just open this up a little bit so we can kind of lay it out. So you see text, notes, you have a table in here, you get these uh, different profiles of people. If I just kind of flip through this Bible a little bit, there's another introduction for Nehemiah. You get maps. This is not a full color Bible, but it is. They are adding in the, the theme color of green. So the green is the secondary color throughout this Bible. So it's either black or green, and then this is a red letter. Now real quick, just bringing in my wife's. This is her original first edition. So you can kind of see, oh, it's just beat up because she used it so much. Similar idea inside but obviously totally updated, the added color. This is such a 90s look and feel to it, right? Um, but they've added so much more as far as the charts and the maps go. It looks, I think the new one looks, if I set that there, you can kind of see just the pop of color all throughout. It's, it's obviously a much new updated look and feel as far as the Bible goes. Now, speaking about those notes, I left myself a little marker here. So let me just pull this up here real quick so you can see the page. Paper is thin, but it's pretty opaque. I'm not too distracted by the text on the other side of the page. Everything looks good. It's spaced well. So then we get these textual footnotes. So here we go. We're in Psalm 76. So here it says, Psalm 76, 1 through 12. This psalm praises God for his awesome power. It was most likely written to celebrate the defeat of Sennacherib's army after they invaded Judah during Hezekiah's reign. So that is a textual note about the history of of this passage. So that's a pretty standard study Bible note. Now, when we jump over to the next page, it, these next two notes, how can defiance bring glory to God? This psalm closes with an invitation to the listener or reader. So you can see these notes over here are now prompting you to think about and reflect on how does this apply to your life? And that's what this Bible is all about. It's giving you that information about the historical context, but not as much as say the ESV study Bible or the NIV study Bible would, because it's really focused on how you're going to apply this Bible to your life. So it's a little bit of uh, two different things going on at the same time. I really like that. I mean, it just, it's, again, it's particularly if someone is really trying to figure out how to make the Bible make sense for their life, this is a really great Bible to do that. As you can see, when we get into, let me get back here to the, at the end of Malachi, most study Bibles like this are gonna have some sort of information about the time between the Testaments. You have this little interlude section 
talking about the different periods, pretty short in this Bible. And then you get into Matthew, you get the standard introduction, you get into the text. And then when Jesus starts to speak, you see this one is, there's one line, a red letter Bible. Looks really great, easy to read. You see some of these pages, you're only getting two inches or less of text and you get all these study notes. And for me, that's just a really fun way to read the Bible because I get some text and then I hop down here to the notes or I look at the maps and the charts and I'm like, oh, okay, I'm connecting the dots as I read this thing. Because often I just find myself, to be honest with you, still, I find myself lost by some of the things that I'm reading and it's good to have these notes to really press in a little bit deeper. And obviously the goal for this one is, okay, what does this mean to me? How do I apply this to my life? So I'll show you real quickly what's at the end of the Bible. So we get to the end of Revelation. Table of Weights and Measures, uh, not a Bible unless it has one. This is a resource called the Christian Workers Resource, so it's about speaking to people about your faith, following up with new believers, those sorts of things. Um, then you get a reading plan, 365-day Bible reading plan, that's awesome. And then you have your Master Index. So this is your index that's going to have a different index for all of the different notes in this Bible, all of the different charts. The maps, you have each one of these is a different index. So if you're like, oh, I know there was a good study note that was talking about burdens. Well, you come back here to burdens, and it's going to tell you where in the Bible you can find a study note that talks about burdens. Um, if I fast forward here, you see there's your index to your different maps. Here's the one for the charts that are in the Bible. So you have all those different things as far as an index goes. So if you remember reading something, or if you think, I want to find something about this topic or find a map about this, you can hop back here to the back. Oh, I skipped past. There's also the full NLT dictionary concordance. You get dictionary definitions of different terms as well as the concordance for locating them in the Bible. And at the very end, you get a set of kind of standard glossy Bible maps to finish everything up. Overall, a fully loaded Bible that is focused on how can you apply God's Word to your daily life. So there you have it. That's the Life Application Study Bible from Tyndale. The original New Living Translation version, the new NIV version, and a KJV version coming out later this year. I would love to know what you think about the Life Application Study Bible. So leave me a comment and let me know. And leave a comment if you have any questions about it, and I'll get back to you. As always, I'll put links in the description to where you can buy one of these Bibles. And I've also got a full write-up at BibleReviewBlog.com, as well as some more great photos. Definitely check Bible Review Blog out on Instagram and Facebook. We've got a great community out there. And while you're here on YouTube, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. I've got more great study Bible reviews, lots of different Bible-related content, and I have more coming very, very soon. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. <music>